What's up, violinists? Today we're going to be continuing our episode 2, part 2 of supports and how to gear them by their unit type. Now, before I begin this video, I do want to point out that any unit I use in these videos, this is just so I can use them as an example, and I am not giving you specific details on how to build these units I'm showing in particular. These are just general ideas and units I'm using for example because of their role type. So with that being said, I do want to get in and we will be continuing supports for buffers and debuffers in this video. So for our very first one, we are going to be talking about Ella because she actually covers both roles as a buffer because she has immunity and as a debuffer because she has blind with her ultimate as well as block buff with her first skill. On debuffers, you particularly want to have a very high accuracy, so this makes focus sets really good. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of the name for a second. Uh, for a two set, focus is a great set on them. You want also high HP as well as a high amount of defense. That way, they're harder to take down. Regarding attack speed on them it really depends on the unit if you are actually building Ella for a debuffer I do recommend attack speed highly and that's just because how her skills in particular work for a four set they do recommend brutal here but I would personally recommend either swift if you're building Ella or if any other support debuffer you would like to use adept as your four set and again with focus being your two set other four sets you could use could be triple vital or that's not even a four set but triple vital actually works uh two sets will actually be vital sturdy focus or warding and for our debuffer, we will be showing the most commonly used one, which is going to be Mojo, the Wind or Nature Shaman. Uh, as you can see, they do give him a recommendation of Adept. And once again, like I said with Ella, Adept is going to be really excellent on having them. Because when you're using a buffer, they are there to buff your party and raise that party's defenses, offenses, or speed or any other stat such as that so you want them to be able to do this quite often and as often as possible an adept will help you reach that goal for two sets I do recommend once again vital sturdy warding or focus if you are building mojo in particular I do recommend a very high amount of accuracy on him just because his very first skill has disorient and this is going to make him very effective in raids against the bosses and helping keep your party alive even more according to how he his buff works uh stat wise you want max hp defense and resistance uh accuracy you can go less with and go aim for resistance more on a buffer versus a debuffer because you want them actually being able to resist stuns, fears, and any other inability effect that might affect slow your units down and stop them from getting those buffs out. So that's going to be it for this video guys. I hope it does go quick and helpful for you. If you like this video and find it helpful, please leave a comment down below and like the video as well so others will see it. And I shall see you in the next one.